Hi friends, welcome to Embedded iLabs. In this tutorial, we are going to design PCB for common emitter amplifier circuit using Proteus IDE. To download circuit diagram, simulation file and outputs, kindly follow the links which are given below in the description box. Let's open Proteus. Go to new project. Save the project. To next select create schematic and default template size then next we need to create pcb so select create pcb layout and default template size then click ok then it's uh, not a firmware so select no firmware project and click next and finish now go to schematic capture draw the circuit First name the circuit C amplifier and pick the components from components mode and the transistor DC five four seven. Then 100k resistor and 150k resistor then 1k resistor and we need 470 ohm resistor Then we need capacitors, 10 microfarad, 47 microfarad. Then we need battery source. Then click OK. Now place the components. Then pick ground from terminals. Signal generator from instruments. And last was code. Then make connections. Make battery voltage to 12 volt. Now connect input waveform also to oscilloscope. Now 
Now run the simulation. Now increase the frequency. Change it to 1 kilohertz. Make input voltage to millivolts. Now you can see that channel A is an input signal which is 60 millivolt and it is amplified. It shows in the channel B. It is an uh, output of common emitter amplifier. Now our circuit is working. Then stop. Save this as a simulation circuit. In order to make PCB, we need to delete uh, this oscilloscope and uh, signal generator which will be replaced with uh, connectors. Select connectors from device menu. Go to save and select 2 pin connector and click OK. Now rename the terminals, just input, it is supply, 12 volt, supply, then this is output, now this is the PCB circuit. Export this graphic as PCB cycle. Now you can see that top PCB cycle, and you need to draw a PCB layout for this go to PCB layout go to component mode and check whether all the components are having their footprints all the components is having components are having their footprints so next we need to draw a border I click change layer to board edge edit properties increase the line width to 20 th now go to components mode and tools auto place those components Check whether all the components are selected. Now press OK. Now you see that all the components have placed. You need to arrange this.
Now this is the board edge. Save the file. Now go to the central manager. Put in classes. Select horizontal to bottom copper. And click OK. Now begin auto routing. Now you see that we are having two. Top copper layers because uh, which are conflicting with uh, these roots are conflicting with bottom copper. So in order to rearrange this, we have to manually route this. Just delete these roots. Go to traces. And select default. Route this. Now we are conflicting with this root and delete this root. Go to selection mode, move this resistor, and wire this. Now we are done with the uh, RPCB. If you want to change this patch, Now name the file as C amplifier. Make sure that this layer should be a top silk. Now you see that it is showing yellow color board edge. So right click and change the layer to top so export the output so go to output and print the layout just select bottom copper top sill and board edge save the file as C 
amplifier PZB. I'll save it. Okay, thank you friends. For any doubts, post your comments below or visit Imbra Day Labs. See you soon with another tutorial. Once again, thanks for watching. Thank you.